So okay, in our particle flow, we have to do another shape instance also. Okay, what we'll do here is we will hide our kiwi skin, and we'll unhide our scene extras and our particle flow. Oop. And after our first initial collision is when everything starts, right? So we'll put a shape. First, we'll copy this. Uh, we'll just get rid of this. We'll, we'll copy over it with a <coughs> shape instance. There it is. Shape instance, we'll pick our kiwi debris zero one and uh, we want to make sure to click on group members scale a hundred percent we don't want any variation um, we're not animating this at all so we don't have to worry about that mm. so uh, I guess that's that for now we can hide that layer because all we needed to do was select it. Skin debris gone. I forgot we got it moving it right there. Okay. So two twenty. We will turn this to geometry. And now we have pieces of Kiwi bot. Nice. That's exactly what we were going for. So we see a foot, a head, a little chest piece, another foot. And another foot, but that's because we have too many pieces, right? We just talked about that. <coughs> Collision spawn. Ten. That's two more than we already have. And with a variation of with a variation of fifty, it could go all the way to fifteen. Right? So what we need to do is put in if we put in four with a variation of fifty, we could stay safe. But that means we could get as little as two pieces per combat. We don't want that. So we could just put in, let's put in seven with a variation of, uh, mm, variation of 10. That should keep us pretty close to our, like they shouldn't notice too many inaccuracies with it. If they really wanted to be a stickler, they could notice it, but, you know, they won't definitely. We're going to keep it like that. That seems to be pretty good. Also, now that we can see the pieces, we want to add a, a, a spin uh, operator. Where would you go spin? So I'm always confused. There they go. Spin, or select that. Three sixty. I like to switch that to seven twenty with a variation of three sixty. Random three D space. Uh, we can switch this to two. We might have to change. because our two are only right there.
So we get this. I'm gonna <clears throat> play with the parts some more. Uh, collision spawn. Seven. I'll just turn up. Oh, eight. See, I see a, a calf and a knee and thigh, a neck, a thigh. Oh, Dan, I don't know what these things are. Oh. That's just a knee. 50. Let's get that down to zero. 10, maybe there's 10 pieces. Maybe I counted the pieces wrong to begin with. Because <clears throat> I don't see the head. Where's the head? There's another foot. <clears throat> there's the head. So 12 pieces. I just miscounted. Pow. And uh, maybe I can change the seat on this. It'd be neat if we could get the um, the head flying higher. Shape instance. Uh, I don't know what that would count for. I don't know. But anyway, so we get that. So that's good. We got the head. We have... That's the most noticeable part for me, right? Because that's the biggest chunk. Put more of a spin on it. Let's say a uh, one thousand. Also, I'm going to turn up the bounce. One. And maybe put a rotation in. Um, rotation, we do it with a speed space follow, but I don't know how that will affect our random 3D spin. <clears throat> 